Um, guys, this is the Guy or Cook Report talking about Shotcut. We recently did an episode on the podcast about the top Linux video editors, okay? And the Shotcut video editor seems to be pick of the litter as far as I'm concerned, and this is what we did to get that. We first went to the uh, downloads page, Shotcut, and we clicked on this one right here. And we went save file and put that into the downloads folder. You can see where I've got it right there. I'm just going to replace it. Save. Replace. Okay. And you can see up here in the top of the browser, it's got the little uh, download progress thing. And you click on the folder and you go right to the folder where that's downloaded at. And let me minimize this browser, get that out of the way. There we go. There's the download. And we say extract to here. And the extraction takes place. This takes just a second. Bear with me. I thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this. Okay, and then there's the shortcut or shortcut folder. Okay. The one we just made with a number two right there. So we double click on that. And double click on the app. And there's Shotcut. Okay. You right click on it. And say make a link. And there's a link to the Shotcut. And you want to move that to the desktop. And I got to replace it because it's already there once. So we're replacing it. And then we minimize this. We go to the desktop. And there it is, Bazinga. We double click it. We say run. And after a second or two, it'll start up. And there's videos on YouTube all over the place on how to use shortcuts. So I'm not going to do that here. Uh, but that's just a proof of life that you can get it installed on Linux Mint and how I went about doing it. I want to thank you again for taking time out of your day. It's a wrap.